All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. Uh, I'm fresh out of work. That's why I look so dirty, tired, sweaty, all that. Um, I'm on my way over to Tampa to English Touch Performance to pick up the motor finally. It's been, I want to say, seven or eight months. Motor's been done for quite a while. I just uh, needed to build the funds to go get it. Which, speaking of, if you guys want to help me out, you guys can go ahead and check the link in the description below to get some Boost Bunny merch. We just dropped a whole new line. Uh, it's been out on my Instagram for a while now and the Boost Bunny Instagram as well, which if you guys aren't following that, go ahead. Go ahead, check out the new designs. I'm sure you guys will like them. Helps out the build a ton. And let's go over to Tampa. All right, so based off all these Jennies here, Mind the Prius, but yeah, we got We are here at English Touch Performance. Uh, soon as you walk in those doors, first motor on the left is actually gonna be mine. But um, let me go ahead and walk in and start chatting with him real quick. All right, guys, in the back of that truck right there is my motor. We're headed home, let's go. Well, it's raining and that's my motor and I don't know if that's gonna keep the water out. You love to see it. <laughs> I hope my motor's okay. I'm like crying inside. We still have like a 50 minute drive to my house. So pray that it's okay. All right, motor is back. Are you gonna get me some motor? Pop, mom, thanks for helping me deliver the motor back to where it belongs. Yeah, you owe me gas money. Gas money? <laughs> Alright, I got you. Just a quick voiceover if you guys haven't been watching my videos or know what's going on. The reason we ended up pulling this motor in the first place was due to a lifted head. We had um, low compression in cylinder 1 and cylinder 4. We ended up lifting the head and blowing the head gasket. Um, we ended up doing some CSS work, which is cylinder support system, and some 4B11T ARP head studs to prevent this from happening last time don't know exactly how it happened i can take a couple guesses i'm not going to go ahead and say them here uh, i'm not going to bash on anybody but the motor should be all fine and dandy now it's going to be very healthy and take a lot more boost let's get back into this video all right we got the motor back here we're gonna get started on that first we got to put the flywheel on the clutch pressure plate i'm gonna clean them up a little bit first i'm gonna put some loctite on those bolts torque them down to the right spec get into it all right we got the flywheel the clutch and the pressure plate all on torque down flywheel bolts have some loctite and i think we're ready to put it in now and then we'll start with the accessories after that we're gonna have to move this out of the way this out of the way jack up the transmission just a little bit more and then should we be able to see pretty nice All right, we finally got the motor in on the mounts, bolted to the transmission all the way around. We can pull this transmission jack out now. So now we just gotta put on the accessories and put the front crash bar on, radiator support, put fluids, it's all easy from here. All right, this is the progress we made. We have the entire intake side complete, alternator, comp uh, AC compressor, uh, fuel rail, everything's all bolted up. Return line here. I do have to put the feed line, which actually is right here. But um, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. It's too hot outside. I wanna go clean up, get some formula drift watching on tv so yeah all right guys it is a new day um we're gonna go ahead and just finish up whatever we got left on the motor which is going to be the exhaust side you have everything on the intake side basically all buttoned up so let's get to it oil filter housing is on i found the right bolts um we have our oil pressure sensor adapter on our oil cooler and our oil filter 
Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and probably put on the water pump. And then we're gonna go ahead and do power steering, exhaust manifold. Let's get to it. Slowly getting closer and closer, guys. Got oiling side done, water pump side done. We have all our water lines hooked up all the way up to the heater core. Back to the water pump. The lines that we don't need are capped off. Now we're gonna go move on to the exhaust manifold, which I have over here. And off camera, I actually went ahead and painted the manifold and the back housing of the turbo in a flame-proof header paint, black. All right, the time has come. Turbo is in. That looks so good. Oh, I miss seeing this thing. And then we have the black manifold here. That looks so good, tying everything in. You could see uh, kind of like right there where it was a little rusty. I'm gonna take off the wastegate and kind of fix that up a little bit. Um, I was just a little lazy, but it does look really good. Now all I have to do is put the power steering pump on and then we can start tidying everything up and be good to go. All right, everything's hooked up. We have oil feed going to the top of the turbo. We have oil drain coming down from the bottom of the turbo into the block. We have all our coolant hoses hooked up back there. Um, we got our power steering pump on. Now we just have to assemble the front end portion of it. And then we can start adding fluids. And I don't really know what we're gonna do after that, but we'll see. All right, I think this is gonna be my stopping point for today. Exhaust is bolted up, O2s are plugged in. The um, AFR bung is plugged in. Everything is ran up top, all of our sensors back here. Uh, all we need is spark plugs, coils. Um, this is our boost control. This is our vacuum for the blow off valve. We have another vacuum hose here. I'm not exactly sure where it goes. Um, we gotta cap off the PCV valves, figure out if we're gonna do an oil catch can again or what. Um, let's see what else. We gotta put the front crash bar on and the uh, radiator mount so we can put the radiator on, put the upper and lower radiator hoses on. And then we have a couple sensors up here actually that are gonna feed over this way. I'm gonna run a nice little loom with this yellow wire so that it's all tucked away and hidden. Um, we have a little hose here that we're gonna have to source and figure out what we're gonna do with that. And then we gotta clean everything up because I've made a mess. All right, progress is being made. It's starting to look more like a car. We got the front radiator support on. Um, I painted this front piece right here for the vacuum line and to run this wire through. Um, so I'm waiting for that to dry before I finish any of that. Uh, this also plugs into the vacuum port over there on that. Um, I have to either cap these off or find a line that'll connect them. Now we're going to put the radiator in. We're going to put the condenser up. We are going to mount the intercooler and the intercooler piping into the throttle body and onto the top of the turbo. All right, guys, I know I'm doing a terrible job at filming, but we got the condenser and the radiator on, upper radiator hoses on, lower radiator hoses on, the connector is on. Now it's time to do intercooler, intercooler piping, and then we can start adding fluids and then possibly start this thing to be honest with you guys okay guys this entire front end is assembled ready to go just need the headlights and the front bumper um but before i do that i want to run to the store and grab another nipple to clamp on there um also i did wire up the boost solenoid which is all gonna be nicely tucked away um gonna cover that up as well and clean up these wires uh, I do have to go get some breaking oil, and then we should be good to go. All right. First pour. Okay guys, engine oil is filled up, coolant is kind of topped off. 
Um, next, what we're doing is removing the injector and the ignition coil fuses, which I have both right here from the fuse box. So when we start cranking this over, uh, it helps build oil pressure without putting any fuel into the motor or any spark, um, causing it to start up with no oil pressure and cause issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug the battery into the rear. We're going to crank the engine for five seconds off for 10 seconds, continue that process until the oil light turns off on the dash. Then when that oil light turns off, we're gonna come in, we're gonna put these injectors, or sorry, these fuses back in for the injector and the coils. Then we're gonna turn the motor over till it starts. Then we're gonna turn it back off. Then we're gonna turn the heater core all the way to hot um, and rev, or run the engine with this um, coolant cap open just so I can heat up um, the motor and open up the thermostat so that we have no air in our system. So let's get started on that real quick. All right, so I primed the engine already. If you guys see, the oil light will go away. So that means that the engine is primed. So, so now that the oil is primed inside the engine, we're gonna go ahead and plug those fuses back in and then we're gonna go ahead and crank it up for the first time. All right, we even got the bumper on. I got impatient. I wanted to put it all back together just to see this thing. All right, before we start this motor, I wanna go ahead and pause right here. Uh, we have some new merch that dropped a little bit ago. I haven't really been posting YouTube videos, but it's been on my Instagram. The more merch you guys buy, the more cool things like this I can post for you guys. So go ahead, cop some merch. Let's start this motor. smoked out uh, I did forget one thing I forgot to put on the serpentine belt but that's an easy fix so we'll hop on. all right guys we got her out of the garage on her own power letting it smoke out a little bit all the new oils and stuff exiting I gotta add some more coolant in there let this thing warm up I'm stoked that it's running as good as it is off today's video just wanted to let you guys know uh it's been a couple weeks i did my break-in period car's been running good i have about 600 miles on the engine i have to call up johnny now and see if he can set up a tune date so we can get this thing running even better than it already has been surprisingly i've only had one issue and that was actually when i actually had a starter issue um all I ended up having to do was tap on the starter and it kicked right on, so yeah. Other than that, we've had no issues. Car's been running good, tune is decent. Uh, I haven't gone too far into boost, maybe about eight pounds at the most. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Next video will be either tuning or installing the livery. I'm not sure which one yet, but stay tuned, you'll find out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Adios.